This exhibition is called A Tangible Surface, uh, and it's an exhibition in which I explore uh, through three different series of work how we have as humans a relationship to objects surface. Um, I started thinking about the way I myself experience surfaces in nature, uh, especially hikes, trips to the beach, and how I would encounter surfaces that were appealing to me in an aesthetic way. After that I started thinking how can I communicate this appreciation for aesthetic surfaces to a larger audience. Uh, then I had the idea the gallery, the gallery works in a way as a laboratory. It works as a microscope as well. You focus, you make people's view focus on the object you present to them. So, if I present to them the surfaces that I find interesting, they will have to engage with me. And that interaction between the viewer and the surfaces is what I'm really interested in. Uh, in this exhibition, I have one installation that is composed of uh, five hanging pieces. Uh, they are studies of ways of how to lift a rock off the ground. I, I tend to lift rocks off the ground, not to look at for what's underneath, but to look at the rock itself. There is a there is a tendency to look what's underneath the rock, but I, I appreciate the rock more, to be honest. I think it's an object that has existed for thousands of years, and it shifts through erosion or sedimentation processes. Creates a 3D object that is very appealing to me. So I have five of those ones. I have. Uh, print that I made, I am scanning surfaces. Uh, the process that I make, I think it's very important for this piece that I have behind me. It is a small sheet of metal that I intervene with a motor oil and water and I leave it out for weeks in the sunlight and in the rain, basically for the elements to interact with it. And then I pick up the piece and I scan it on a flatbed scanner to create a larger image, a surface that can evoke imagery. For example, this one behind me, to me it evokes a oceanscape. It creates the ripples of the water behind me that were created by the interaction between water, rust, and oil. And then the third installation in this piece, uh, sorry, in this exhibition, is four slates of marble that remind me of traditional Japanese and Chinese landscape painting. They would paint on panels on their walls and doors uh, and they would live with these interior landscapes. I am interested in how these marbles we use as countertops or we use as building materials but they also through their veins convey a landscape. So we in modern times are living with landscapes in our homes as well. Uh, it's a material that doesn't really allow interaction. It's, you can't erase a, a trace that you make on marble, you can't erase it. It's forever. So I'm trying to give this material the space it needs for it to be uh, exhibited. And finally, the fourth piece that I have in this space, it's called the uh, Whisper Boxes, which is a, a little bit maybe of a rebellious act in the gallery realm where interaction with the viewer should only be with the pieces but I am trying to put my voice, my actual voice, I record it and in, in this little units, hearing units, I want to give a message to the viewers in the gallery so I record myself whispering messages and they have to come close to it and listen my voice whispering in their ears or it's, it's as if I was telling a secret to them. I engage them, even without being present, I engage them in an intimate relationship. So I'm interested in how that plays into the whole relationship between objects and viewers. So, yeah. También, ahora voy a hablar en español para la gente que habla español. Todo este proceso viene de mi viaje de Costa Rica a Canadá. De yo darme cuenta de que la distancia entre Victoria y San José, de donde soy, la ciudad de la que soy, 
es geografía, es terreno, es una superficie, es la superficie del planeta. Y es una superficie que yo puedo caminar, técnicamente podría caminar, no creo que lo camine, pero podría eh, recorrerla de la misma manera que mi mano recorre una piedra. Entonces, la, la sensación que yo tengo sobre una superficie sería la misma que mis pies tendrían al caminar. Eh, esta realización, darme cuenta de que yo estaba a una distancia caminable de mi casa en San José, me hizo darme cuenta que todas las superficies tienen valor, porque yo valoraba demasiado la distancia entre Victoria y San José, ya que, me, ya que extrañaba mi casa. Utilizando ese sentimiento, me di cuenta que podía crear esculturas que en mí y tal vez en otras personas idealmente podrían evocar ese sentimiento de, de crear eh, una relación hacia una superficie de un objeto en la misma manera en la que creamos una relación a la superficie del planeta a la hora de, de caminar. Pues sí.